Solution. It is out to be about 300 to 400 meters per second. When Mr. Santa claps at time T, 1, his stopwatch starts immediately. The friend's one does not start until later. The sound with speed V must first cover the distance of the two friends. For this, it needs the time D divided by V. So the friend's clock does not start until T2 equals T1 plus D divided by V. The friend claps his hands later at the time interval, pronounced delta T, thus his stopwatch stops immediately at time T3 equals delta T. The sound of his clapping must first run to Mr. Santa to stop his stopwatch. For this, it needs the time of D divided by V again. Thus, the stopwatch of Mr. Santa stops at the time T4 equals delta T plus D divided by V. The stopwatch of Mr. Santa thus shows the time TW equals T4 minus T1 equals delta T plus D divided by V minus T1. That of his friend TF equals T3 minus T2 equals delta T minus T1 minus D divided by V. The difference between the two measured times is TW minus TF equals delta T plus D divided by V minus T1 minus delta T plus T1 plus D divided by V equals 2 times D divided by V. The speed of sound can thus be determined from twice the distance between the two friends, 2 times D, divided by the difference TW minus TF between the two stopped times. V equals 2 times D divided by TW minus TF. The speed of sound in dry air at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius is 343.2 meters per second or 1,236 kilometers per hour.